Hello and welcome again to our YouTube channel. In today's video from the Photoshop series, we are going to see a quick trick is how to use the Photoshop frame filter creatively. First, we are going to embed uh, one image that we can add a filter to it. You can use uh, your imagination creatively in this. Okay, we will use this image for example. I embedded to keep uh, to control its resolution. It's around four mega or five mega, but when I embed it in 1000 by 1000, it's uh, reduced to automatically uh, while keeping the good resolution by the Photoshop uh, algorithm. Um, now I need to add uh, some pic uh, picture frame uh, to this image. We will add some and we will use it to make it like a floral gate. Uh, first thing, I will create a new layer, Control Shift N. This layer I will go to Filter. Render picture frame. Okay, we had a previous uh, video uh, in details for the settings of the frame tool uh, or the picture frame, and uh, we had a, a lengthy explanation of all the details of all these settings in the basic and the advanced. We had it on our uh, blog post tutorial blog post. Uh, I will leave you the link. You find the link here, and I will. Uh, you will find the link here to, uh, to the bottom and I will uh, share to you in the description box also with the share of the video with, with the lens de details. Now we are going to apply directly. Uh, we will use the angle as zero for the basic. We will use the push type. We have a lot of types but we will select the push type. It will serve us uh, best. We use it with this arrangement size 73 margin 1 to start from the edges of the of the screen. The flower color you can use select this color or you can change it if you like to, to use a different red color for example like this one okay more reddish color uh, that is the fine color for for the uh, stem uh, of the vines and this one is the uh, leaf color if you select here the leaf color that's these are the default colors you can add one color we had added one custom color from here that's the default uh, we had added move edit uh, by moving the slider down to make a dark greenish color and then okay uh, that that's the leaf size You can increase it uh, a little bit or decrease it, and that's uh, you have a lot of flower uh, shapes. You have to uh, select this one, the pinwheel, it's giving uh, a nice effect. Simply, I will press OK. Now you can see that uh, your filter, uh, your picture frame is applied. You can leave it as it is, like this, it's a picture frame. If you like to make it a, a more creative one, um, I will select it V. I will decrease my image a little bit so you can see how we are working and then I will extend the filter outside my image from here press enter and then I will go to the crop tool press enter you can see now how it will be cropped and the part will, uh, here is the dimmed part will be cut from the image and we press the check mark now you have your filter I will uh, duplicate it because we will make more than one effect or can make it triple effect so control G Control J again. We have uh, three copies. We can work with them. I will uh, decrease. Uh, I will hide the first two. I will, I return again uh, the zooming. Uh, control zero. Will turn to the uh, full zoom. Now uh, we had seen how to make it uh, a great, uh, like flowery entrance. What about if I like? I come here to zone. This one is a visible one because it's having the eye here appearing. I will add some. Pevel and Emboss from here. Okay, you have this setting. Uh, I'm using the pillow. Emboss, we have a lot of setting of pillow. Uh, the pillow is giving you, will give you a good effect here, or you can use uh, the outer pebble, for example. It depends on your preference or how it looks. It, it depends on the matching with your image. Okay, uh, and I use this depth, a little bit bigger depth. Okay, uh, okay. Now you can see that it's having some uh, 3D effect of this uh, gate uh, on your image. Okay, if you need to move these borders, just V, you turn to the uh, normal selection tool. Now I will hide this one with the pavel and emboss, and I will go to this one. Now we go to the blending. If I uh, select this image, that's a normal blending. I will go to one nice blending called the color blending. Okay. Uh, now the color blending it uses the colors of this uh, picture frame as part of your image. Now, uh, but 
in some areas it's not logic to appear like this so I will go to on this image I will add a vector mask and on this vector mask I have two options either you draw on it with black or you use a white eraser to remove the areas that you don't like so I will use the eraser and with white on the foreground and I'm going to remove it from the sky here for example the sky here So it seems a little bit logic from the stones here also. And from the grass here. And from the stem of this old tree. Okay, now like this, you can see that you had given uh, a nice color image. Uh, or filtered uh, to your picture instead of the dull uh, one color uh, black image. I will show you another uh, simple trick. I will use this one. Now you can add some uh, light curves to it. So if I come to here and uh, I add some light curve. Okay, this light curve, you can see it from F7 from the layers panel. It is added uh, here. It will be affecting all the uh, layers below it based on the position. So if I return again to the curves now I decrease my curve. You can see that this effect is applying only on the uh, color of the image behind it and not on the uh, on the top uh, on the on the picture frame you had set it. So you can change the colors to match it. You can make it a little bit dim color if you like to make the focus on the frame or you can make it uh, vice versa. Okay, suppose that I like to dim it a little bit from the behind. If you like to change the colors themselves, you can either, if I press on F7 again, I return to the layers. You can make this on the top. Like this, it's applied to the whole image. If you like it to be applied only to the uh, to this picture frame, I will right click on the curves and I will create a clipping mask. So now it's only dimming this uh, layer frame which is the one below it and leaving the other uh, intact so I can come here again and then you can change you can dim it more if you like to make it like this you can lighten it more okay I hope you had learned a nice trick today uh, that you can use it uh, to give life to, to your images um, with us for the coming videos, we'll see you in great nice tricks uh, with the picture frame tool. Follow us on the uh, tutorials on our blog post, you will find the link here and below. Join our channel, activate the bell, let me meet incoming videos with creative ideas. Thank you very much.